different companies at different stages obviously need different kind of financing instruments. So, so there is a huge need for, for, for grants, for debt, for equity, and for structured products that are in between debt and equity. So when we talk about a social impact entrepreneur, like entrepreneurs generally, there is the life cycle of capital. So an entrepreneur needs early stage money at the seed level where they're probably pre-product, pre-revenue, pre-market even. And that's where an incubator like Vilgro comes in. We find the entrepreneur where he is or where she is, and we provide them with financial support but even more important, we provide them with the two other pillars, mentoring and business support services. I think philanthropy in general is becoming more investment focused, research focused on good models, uh, treating it more as a long term investment where people are using their uh, interests from other business areas and really applying it to the nonprofits they invest in. And I think that's truly, really helping as uh, philanthropists and family foundations to start to think more and more that way, uh, which will ultimately help organizations grow, scale up, because ultimately what the education sector will need is scaled up models um, that can be implemented across the country because the problem is not small. The you know, kind of early stage debt market right now is, is, is really um, lacking in, in India and so there's, there's a significant need for additional players in the market, people like um, Caspian and Telegro and a couple others who, who are open to financing relatively early stage education companies but there are very few others. We, we uh, United Capital are starting an MBFC right now but there's, there's also uh, really a need for more people uh, that are taking risks in terms of impactful companies in the education space and so it's, it's, a, it's a difficult market for, for fundraising. Partially because people have struggled on the business models, um, so, so there's a need for people across the, across the sphere, and, and there's definitely a need for cooperation between different forms of capital. Um, I think in particular, a lot of people need help on their business models that may require some grant funding in terms of either getting to a scale where they can accept commercial capital or improving the impact that then, if I think if people can can prove the impact that they have in terms of the performance of the, of the children that they're educating, then it'll be easier for them to find, um, to find investors. But, but today that's often been something that people haven't been able to do very easily or very um, efficiently. We're a commercial investor. We typically come in at Series A, Series B, uh, when a company is in the growth phase in the education sector. But, uh, but we think that the whole continuum of capital of grants to early stage uh, financing of various natures whether for social impact or otherwise is absolutely crucial because especially in education where outcomes and pedagogies and changes matter so much, uh, finding new things and new innovative models uh, and finding enough sample sizes, piloting them, experimenting with them. Uh, just can't be done uh, easily with just commercial capital that is looking to grow the numbers and find monetization quickly. Uh, these kinds of things need deep research, deep experimentation. They need uh, a lot of uh, students to work with. Corporates can probably look at you know, partnering for a particular cause and adopting that cause on a long-term basis. That is how continuum of capital could be extended and expected in the education sector.
teachers are the most close to the kids and they can transform the life of children. So if the teacher is transformed in, in his or her way of teaching, in his or her way of classroom practice, I think that can definitely transform the children learning.